The official press release for Wonder Woman 1984 gives little away, simply stating that Chris Pine returns as Steve Trevor. As no details are given, the obvious solution is that Wonder Woman's lover may still be dead in the sequel and simply appears in the form of flashbacks. However, the 80s fashion sported by Pine in the first image rules this theory out for the most part, although it's entirely possible that flashbacks will play a role alongside the main reason for Pine's return. Return, given that Diana still mourns the loss of Steve and the present day of Justice League, we're sure that her former lover is still on her mind in the year 1984. Because of this, Pine's role in the film could be a fantasy or a dream. Once again, though, the period a Tyron display makes this unlikely, unless Diana briefly mistakes someone else for Steve. But that would be a pretty mean tease by Warner Brothers. Her brothers, while the Zoo has touched upon space travel and the concept of gods, time travel escapades have been confined largely to small screen ventures like The Flash and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. However, there's nothing stopping Warner Brothers from introducing elements of time travel to the Wonder Woman franchise, although this might feel like a cop-out, cop-out, anyone who's ever read a comic book is likely to be aware of the fact that superheroes return from the dead more often than Wonder Woman punches bad guys. Over the years, DC writers have concocted various ways to resurrect their fallen heroes, including godly intervention various technological devices and a mystical pool of water called the Lazarus Pit which featured prominently on the Arrow TV show. There's a huge number of ways that Steve could be resurrected, but doing so would completely undermine the emotional impact of his death in the first Wonder Woman movie, so we hope that Warner Brothers will avoid this option entirely. Really, instead of being resurrected, it's also possible that Chris Pine's character somehow survived the explosion in 1918 and is still alive in the year 1984. After all, we never did see a body. If that's true, then Steve is either the hottest doe app on the planet or he found a way to maintain his youth long past natural means. This might sound ridiculous, but in a world of gods and superpowers, anything is possible. Possible. Fans of the Wonder Woman TV show might recall that actor Lyle Wagoner played two versions of Steve Trevor across the first three seasons, switching from the role of father to Steve Trevor Jr. following a time jump in seasons two and three. Detractors might be quick to point out that the so version of Steve never had any children, but Pine himself said once that his character could have had a family prior to the war so Wonder Woman 1984 might potentially go down this route to bring the star back. Bit weird that Steve never mentioned them, mind, mind. Although this might be heartbreaking for Diana and fans of Steve alike, we wouldn't be surprised if Pine returns in the form of a doppelganger designed to torment Wonder Woman and remind her of what she's lost. Robots, clones and even godly shapeshifters are all likely candidates, but there's also a chance that this imposter could be linked to iconic Wonder Woman villains like Cersei or Dr. Psycho, who possess the kind of telepathic and magic powers that could make this a reality. After all, Kristen Wiig's cheetah might not be strong enough to take the Amazonian princess on alone and Pedro Pascal's role in the sequel is yet to be determined. Whether one of these theories turn out to be true or not, what we do know is that the chemistry Pine and Gal Gadot shared in the first movie will undoubtedly help Wonder Woman 1984 become just as successful as its predecessor when the film is eventually released on November 1, 2019.